Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. On tonight's bulletin, soccer fans speak about the violence at the Baba Fields Stadium. Water shortages hit a Toloto village. Badare establishes centers to fight domestic violence. And Harare's Jungle Music Festival woes crowds. Following the violence that rocked Baba Field Stadium recently, soccer fans have called for the punishment of Highlanders supporters, who they say caused the mayhem. Crispin Tavura reports. Some soccer fans have condemned the hooliganism displayed by Highlanders supporters during a recent match with Harare City that degenerated into violence. The team's supporters on the popular Soweto Bay threw missiles into the pitch following a disputed goal resulting in the temporal suspension of the match. Some people blamed the violence on Highlander supporters for lack of self-control. My supporters can akakwanza kushi control la chit do shakango naka. Wangu zawati team ya wano supporta ndio chero muswa inengi achio inengi achio mangu ana wicha wina. Bora re Ireland ndoro wina ku wani kuari kuanza kesa muno mblawa yu. Saka seko na kwa nguo ndofu zada i bora re Ireland ndo chibudi kwa kuma away games chero itamba ine team se 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 tiri ruta mane team yako wange le kacha kwa kuni mu zenyu siri yako wange. Others called for punishment of perpetrators of violence. I'm Chris Ventabra reporting for ATV in Ulawayo, Zimbabwe. Villagers in the drought prone Siapambili village are appealing to the government to construct dams. They hope it will avert water shortages that are causing untold suffering among people and animals. Robert Tafumane gives us the report. A severe water shortage has gripped Siapambili village in Cholocho district causing villagers and animals to compete for water from shallow wells. ATV visited the area recently and spoke to some villagers about the problem. The village head said water shortages were now severe as all water points had dried up across the district. Another villager said gardening was also affected by shortage of water. The 
this drought prone district in North experiences perennial water problems and development experts say more dams are needed to avert disaster. Reporting for ATV, I'm Robert Afumane, Cholocho, Zimbabwe. Despite Zimbabwe enacting the Domestic Violence Act, which criminalizes abuse of women, many are still seeking help. This has prompted a men's forum in Padare to come up with training centers to fight violence against women. Crispin Tavura reports. Padare Enkundleni Men's Forum has established training centers for men in rural areas in Matabeleland to fight domestic violence that has been on the increase in the country. Despite the enactment of the Domestic Violence Act to protect victims, many women continue to experience some form of abuse on a daily basis. Speaking during a recent workshop, Padare Chairperson Kevin Hazangwe was optimistic that empowering men would help curb domestic violence. What we need to do head on is to be able to educate ourselves, be aware of laws that are advancing gender equality. For instance, such as the Domestic Violence Act, men need to know that it's, it's not just an act for women, but it's also an act for men. But how many men would go to a police station and report that they have been abused and they need a protection order? Taking it head on is to say, I'm never going to be non-violent and I'm going to use the laws of the country in order to advance gender equality. We have also come out with a toolkit that we have designed on how to mobilize men and boys to end gender-based violence. And we believe that in Bulawayo, we will also come up with a toolkit that will empower the people living in Bulawayo and Matabeleland. An official from Childline applauded Padare for taking the campaign to the Matabeleland region. I am an organization that has been in the region. I am a some victims of domestic violence who attended the workshop refused to speak on camera for fear of reprisals. However, as Angu said, the training will go a long way in fighting domestic violence. You can still be a very strong man when you are loving. You can still be a very powerful man when you are non-violent. The messages out there are based on a very wrong premise that says you need to be carrying a knife, you need to be carrying a knob carry. You need to drop that and have lots of love, lots of ideas in order to ensure that you protect your families and your communities. And this is what we are going to do in order to reach out to those very men who are violent in every corner of Matebele. Domestic violence against women remains a major problem in Zimbabwe, despite legislative safeguards adopted six years ago. Reporting for ATV, in Mulawayo, Zimbabwe. Last week, music fans were treated to a festival dubbed Rumble in the Jungle, the first of its kind in Harare. The festival took place at a farm on the outskirts of Harare. Jairo Saonyama gives us the story. <laughs> Music lovers from Marare last weekend thronged a farm near the airport to attend the Jungle Music Festival, the first of its kind to be hosted in the capital. The ATV crew attended the event where a number of musicians took turns to thrill the crowd that braved the chilly weather to attend the show. The event organizer said they borrowed the concept from neighboring South Africa. Um, I've been in the Western Cape for a number of years and going to many, many festivals there and I was looking, seeing and then I realized I could do it and this beautiful venue, the venue is incredible. It's all about the trees, the natural world is our greatest entertainer. So from being in the Cape and seeing how they do things, I, I thought I could do it based on my grandfather's music festival and then it, it just blossomed. I got the name and it happened. The musicians who performed at the event described the event as one of the best events ever to be held in Harare. I would see it like as a musician, I think this was a great crowd, people were dancing, they were performing, great. But as a festival director, I think there's like great potential, like for the first night, like there's a decent crowd and everything, and I think this can be there like next year and the year after. Rumble in the jungle, yes, party, big time. Just good, good people, good vibes, good music, good performers, good dancers, everything's just, you know, happy.
good weather even in winter and it's just it's perfect We're very well organized things are going well it's encouraging today's event has been good it's been stressful but it's been very good we have built the turnout the crowd is great the different musicians are very good uh, we we happy with a good mix of musicians good bar venues looking incredible Buses worked well, we're very happy. And everyone here is over the moon, extremely happy. Rambo in the jungle concerts are usually done in western countries where people go partying in the jungle for more than three days. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.